Where are you going? Oh, oh, we did say we'd stop by this little thing Joey's roommate is having. <laughs> oh, Janine, the really hot dancer girl? Some would say she's attractive, yes. And who else is going to be there? Uh, just some of her friends. Yeah. Her dancer friends? Yes, all right? All of her hot dancer friends are gonna be there and they'll be, <laughs> be drinking and, and dancing and we really wanna go. <laughs> Dude, we were good. <laughs> anywhere you said you're gonna eat here and you're gonna eat here yeah and and leaving us to go see hot dancer girls is not very thanksgivingy oh, oh, but, but it is uh, it's just like the first Thanksgiving when the Indians and the pilgrims uh, sat down to dinner yeah yeah and then the Indians taught the pilgrims what it meant to be hot in the new world <laughs> Hello, Chandler. Mr. and Mrs. Gellert, you look wonderful. It is great to have you here. Let us take off your coats. Whoa, is snowing out there? No. <laughs> All this food looks wonderful. You should think about doing this for a living. <laughs> okay, I have dandruff. There's no need to laugh and point. <laughs> Chandler was just laughing at your joke. My joke wasn't funny. Rachel, Rachel, I just remembered. I had a dream about Mr. Geller last night. Really? Yeah, I dreamt that he saved me from a burning building and he was so brave and so strong. And it's making me look at him totally differently. You know, I mean, he used to be just, you know, Jack Geller, Monica and Ross's dad. And now he's, he's Jack Geller, dream hunk. Dad, Chandler is one of Ross's very best friends. You know, Ross sure is a great guy. You know, I've always felt that how a young man turns out is a reflection on his father. I always thought that too. Tell me, what does your father do? He's a headliner of a gay burlesque show. Mom, uh, Chandler was just saying how beautiful your sweater is. Oh, thank you, Chandler. I just bought it. Oh. Yes, well, it's very beautiful, and it's cream-colored and tight, and... I don't mean tight, I mean it's not too tight, not that I was looking at... What's the matter with him? I think he's stoned again. What? What? Dude, I need to talk to you a sec. <laughs> Okay, I think I might know why my parents don't like you. You do? Why? Spring break, sophomore year, I, I got high in my bedroom and my parents walked in and smelled it and so I told them that you had gotten stoned and jumped out the window. <laughs> what? Why did you do that? Well, how was I supposed to know we'd end up being friends after college, let alone you, you'd be living with my sister? What about all that friends forever stuff? I don't know, I, I was all high. <laughs> Dad just sent me in here to find out if you were trying to get Ross stoned. Your parents caught Ross smoking pot in college and he blamed it on me. Ross, I can't believe you'd do that. The reason we haven't told them we're together is because they hate me. Okay, so will you fix this? Okay, okay, I'll tell them it wasn't Chandler who got high. Okay. No, who should I say it was? <laughs> you! It's a big deal. You, you don't still do it or anything. All right, all right. Now, now, who should I say tricked me into doing it? 